Hello everybody, I'm PC Wizard. Welcome back. This is episode two of my Factorio series. Now, last time we got the uh, mining drill set up for the coal, stone, iron, and copper. And today I want to work on making our first steps towards some automation. And the first thing we need to do for that is make some power. Because everything's going to be, uh, you know, or most things are going to run on electricity now. Um, so first thing I want to do is in the inventory, got, um, I thought I had more than that. Let's see. All right. So we've got a whole bunch of iron plates and I think I need a lot of coal for this. We do have some, let me grab some just in case. Well, I'll need coal when I set things up, so that's fine. Um, definitely need some stone and some copper. So I did log on here for a little bit um, and basically just let the machines run, let the drills run and everything, just to get up some resources so I wouldn't have to start this episode just standing around waiting. And I'm going to grab some more, grab the rest of this iron. All right, so we've got a bunch of iron, copper, stone. And what we want to do now in order to make the power plant, the power is going to be run off of steam engines. So first thing we need to do is provide steam for them. So we're going to do that using an offshore pump. So I'm going to click on that. And now you can see like the pile of items it's going to make down in the left corner here. All right, so I only need one steam pump at this point. And then I want to make, um, let's see, see if I can make a couple of pipes somewhere. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and make five of the pipes. And then the power we're going to do is going to be the steam, steam engines. And it's going to be run by the boilers. That boilers are going to heat up the water, and that's going to, Go and then go into the steam engine and produce the, the electricity for us. So I want to make some steam boilers. And I'm going to go ahead and make three of them here. And for each of those, it needs to make a stone furnace. So that's why I needed to have the stone with me. And then I'm going to make a steam engine. And this is where, like I said before, the crafting works so nice because it makes all the subparts that you need. So you just click on what you want and it's going to go through and make everything. All right, then we need um, electricity. So for this, we're going to need power poles. There we go. A uh, small electrical pole. I know we're going to need a bunch of these at some point, so I'm going to go ahead and make like 20 of them. So you can see how all these construction just queues up, which is really nice, really handy. Um, all right, so while those are getting made, let's go ahead and place our equipment. So first thing is the, uh, the pump. And you can see you put that in the water and when it turns green, that's a valid location for it. All right, go ahead and put that down. And then I like to put some pipes in next. Oh, the pipes got used in the construction of something else, probably boilers. So let's go ahead and make five more of those. I want to make conveyor belt, transport belts. We're going to need a bunch of these because we're going to start moving things all over the place. All right, so I want to place a pump or a pipe. Uh, I'm place that right against the, the outside pump. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and place two of them. Now, when you place two of them, it shows this little window there. Now, it's blue, not just because the water's blue, but because the water's cold. Uh, I believe it turned red before when it was the water was heated up all right now we want to go ahead and place steam boilers 
or the yeah the the boilers. We're gonna place three of these in a row, and I'm gonna go ahead and fuel them now. Now the way these are gonna work is the water is gonna heat up as it travels through. So the colder the water is, the more energy it takes to heat it up. So the first steam boiler will go through coal a lot faster than the later steam boilers. But having multiple ones, is, you know, number one, it keeps helps the water get hot better, and it also gives you a buffer in case you run out of coal. Um, all right, so we got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, let's do a couple more pipes. Okay, the water is, it, it does stay blue now. I could have been wrong about it turning red. I thought I had turned red before. All right, now you can see how close this is actually getting to that iron, but that should be fine for the time being. All right, now this is saying it needs electricity. Well, it generates electricity, but it still wants a power pole placed next to it so it will operate and then these power poles are going to be run we're going to connect these along just like power poles out on the street you're going to connect these in a chain to get the power where you want to go now this block around it is the the area that it, it will power and it the wires only have a certain range so uh, you can see as I move it out too far, the wire disappears. So I'm going to go ahead and place that one there. Oh, and it, it won't let me place it here because I'm physically too far away. You have to be within proximity of your, your stuff in order to place it. All right, now I want to place one more. We'll go ahead and place it there. Nope, I didn't want that one. Give me that one back. All right, now we have electricity down here. We don't need these manual drills anymore. Because we can make somewhere in here under production, we can make an electric binding drill, which is it covers a larger area and it's uh, faster production. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, let's make three of these for now and I'm gonna go ahead and pick both of these up so we don't need to have them and now we can go ahead and place this electric drill now I know it's getting a little dark so it's a little hard to see but uh, this covers a three by three area I'm going to go ahead and place it there. And as long as part of it is within the range of the power pole, it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and place that one there. And you can see it starts working right away. Now I want to get these chests out of here too. Because now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to start using conveyor belts to transport everything. And let's see. We're going to start by, let's see. Of course, I want it sitting directly in front of the, you know, the, the mine to begin with. And it starts filling this up. And as it fills this conveyor belt up, um, the coal is going to pile up, and when it piles up back to the spot where it drops it on there, it stops producing. So it doesn't go and waste materials, which is a, a you know very nice thing. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and bring these across here. Now, even though I'm putting the conveyor belt above, like over the top of that coal, it doesn't destroy the coal. The coal is still there and can be used, can be picked up later on. I'm going to have this run literally right up next to this. And you can see when you get into a corner, it will actually curve the belt for you, except that the 
trees in my way. So I chopped the tree down. There we go. So it'll curve right around there. Now what I want to do is I want to automatically power um, fill this mining drill with coal. I want to keep this production going. So I want to make an electric picker. That should be in logistics. Um, it's an inserter. And this one runs on electricity. So if I go ahead and place this, I want to rotate it so it picks up from the belt and places into the drill. Now you can see it's saying it doesn't have any electricity. So I need to bring a power pole over here so it's within range. Right there will work. So now it starts filling that drill with you know, a certain amount of coal because again it's an automated process so it's only going to fill it so full. But now I've got this, this coal coming up here and I'm going to want to do the same thing here. I'm going to want to fill each one of these with coal as well. Uh, now what I don't know is if I'm going to want to take the coal elsewhere. Yes, I am going to need to take the coal around to feed these other pickers and stone furnaces and stuff. So I'm going to kind of plan my route out so it's going to you know, follow a path around. Let's see, so the inserter is going to go to right where this belt is here, so this belt has got to go here. And it can't go there. It's got to go around this pole. Or we, we just move the pole. That'll work. Yep, that works. All right, so those pickers, just give me the inserters, give me five more of those. And we're going to run this belt up. I'm going to bring it up a little way in case I upgrade this um, belt or the, the drill here. See, and if you if you um, you can rotate something that's already been placed, if you just put the mouse over it and you hit R, um, not when you're not holding something. Okay, so it's highlighting that square. If I hit R, it'll automatically rotate it. So then I want. Let's see, place more belts. Uh, nope, the belts. there there all right now I want to put the picker on there before the inserter before I uh, let all this stuff go by so we're gonna feed the boilers like that and we need power for them so let's bring a power pole over here That was actually too. That's actually too far for it to have power. So I need to just drop another power pole in the middle here. All right. So now those have power, and now we want to connect them. And this will start. That's right. It's not going to pick those up because I already have more in these than what it's required to have. All right, I'm definitely going to need more transport belts. So let's go pick up some more materials here. And you can shift left click on items in to move them from one inventory space to another. And let's go ahead and just drop some coal in there. So that keeps running for a little bit. All right, conveyor belts. Let's go ahead and make about 50 more of those. All right, 
right, so this I'm going to want to run Let's see, what's the best way you're going to want to do this? So yeah, if this just goes right through here, um, we're definitely going to need more inserters. Uh, let's try Shift-2. Now these inserters here, the coal powered inserters, I'm gonna go ahead and replace those with powered ones, but I do need to insert coal into the furnace. Let's go ahead and put that one there. Um, we'll upgrade that one as well, that mining drill. So I won't need inserter for that. And let's see. We can go ahead and take this one up. And we'll put one of these down. And we'll, we'll go ahead and put it there. That'll work. All right, so that's going to fill the chest. And then we're going to need an electric picker there. I keep calling them pick, pickers. I don't know why. Um, they are inserters. That is what they are properly called. Uh, let's make like five more of those. And yeah, you can see I'm running low on iron already. I may end up changing the way I'm doing this because one one burner is not going to keep up with us but let's just get started by getting these things placed we're going to do that we're going to do that and then we need power poles it's going to be number four One there and one there okay that's that's running everything now all right so now the next step is to get the coal moved over there And that should do it. All right, and then we're going to want to do the same thing up here. So let me go ahead and run that, run the coal line all the way up there. Okay, so I got everything set up up here. I did this one a little different. Um, I went with some more automated, a little bit faster uh, cooking production. And so what we've got, we've got the coal coming up here. And this picker is taking things from the drill over here. And then the automatic um, inserters here, there's one that's gonna put it into the burner and then one that's gonna take the finished product out of the burner and put it on the conveyor belt. Um, I put three burners in a row here, but two is enough to handle the output of one of these um, mining drills. At this point, I think there's upgrades we can do for them. Um, there might even be faster drills, I'm not sure. Um, but one of the things we can do with these power poles, if you right click on the base of the power pole, it will show you um, your entire electronic, your entire electric network. So what this is telling me right now is that um, I am consuming um, roughly about 300 kilowatts of power. 
um, but I'm producing that same amount, but you can see I'm only producing, you know, maybe a little bit more than half of what I am capable of producing. Um, so my consumption here, uh, you can see it shows the different items that are consuming everything. So I've got three electric dr electric mining drills and 16 inserters. It shows you how much they're consuming in total. And the, you know, it's doing a, a constant reading on, you know, everything. So this is showing the, con um, the power that's being produced. And you can see it's matching the total consumption. You know, so it's pretty handy information. So as you expand your network, um, you can very easily check wherever you are. You can check exactly what's being used. Um, so you can see here how this coal has completely backed up. Um, literally, we're down. We're down to this point. It's actually getting better. It is pulling it off of this belt faster than um, faster than it's completely being used, which is a good thing. Um, what if we do the same thing with the, the iron production? I can go ahead and, let's see. I'm going to need, what, one more inserter. So yeah, give me one more of those and give me these. Alright, so that's going to be putting it there. We're going to want an inserter. It's going to insert the iron onto here. And then we're going to want to pull it off of the belt. Um, we can do that right down here. Why do I only have three inserters? I need four. Oh, I didn't pick this other one up. All right, give me that inserter. Give me that um, stone furnace. Give me this chest. All right, let's come up here. And let's say right at this point, See, the furthest up I want to go is about here. All right, so that works for that. All right, that one doesn't have any fuel because it has no power, which is fine. So this is going to pull the coal and the steel or coal and iron off and then put the finished iron back on. So we just need power pull to make sure these ones get power like that. And now we want to start inserting. Oh, I need I do need one more. All right, make one more of the inserters real quick. And place this one down right there. Now, that's not my ideal side to be putting it on. Now, inserters automatically insert, put items on the far side of a belt. Um, so that's not really... You know, ideally what I want to do because it's putting the iron and the coal on the same side. Um, which is fine until it backs up. It just won't be able to, you know, keep putting it on there. Uh, but you can see these now the um, iron plate is getting put on the far side of the belt when it takes it out of the, the furnace, which is perfect. 
All right, so now we've got automated production of um, the iron plates and the copper plates, or copper bars, I think they call them. And let's see, go ahead and give me that raw copper. And I think there's more in here too. Now, the inserters will pull from either side of the belt. It doesn't have to be a side that they're, you know, the far side for what you know like they do with inserting items so um you know which is good but it kind of makes it a little trickier to sort but i think there's some options we'll have later on for s sorting in specific formats to say you know hey only put these items you know certain items in here um, and these are going to fill up pretty quick so i want to make some iron chests which are twice the size of the wooden chests and we can go and just do an in-place upgrade right on those. So now you see we've got twice as much room in there. All right, so that's the basics of automation. But now what we need to do is we need to progress in this game. So in order to progress, we need to do research. So let's go ahead and um, for research, which is considered production, we need to build a lab. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build one of these. And when you do research, um, you ha you need two things, you know, or or more. But you're going to have a cost, and you're going to have a material. All right. So here or a time. So you're going to have time, and you're going to have. In this case, I need science packs. Science packs are actually an item you craft, and they are an intermediate item. So it uses copper plates and iron gears. So we're gonna to wanna to automate this, but to start with, I'm just gonna go, going go ahead and craft a bunch. And okay, our lab is almost done. Now labs require power. So, you know, I need to make sure I place it in the, the power grid. So for the moment, I'm gonna place it just, you know, right in here where our power system is but I will probably end up moving it somewhere where it's gonna be better suited to receive um, stuff, automatically produced items. So let's go ahead and place this down. Just right there will work. And we're gonna go ahead and see we got, there's assembling machine. Assembling machine is what we need to automatically make items. So this is the first thing I want to research. So we're going to go ahead and research that. And if we click on this, it's going to say, you know, okay, um, you know, hey, this is where you insert items that you need to use. So we go ahead and put that in there. And now it starts consuming it. That becomes the fuel for doing the research. And let's see, it needs to do, uh, let's see, when we look at the research, um, time needed to research one unit in the laboratory. So um, it's going to use 10 of these and it's going to take, and I don't know exactly how this time cycle works, uh, but that, that time counter affects how fast this bar goes by. Um, so this is going to use, this has got to progress through 10 times before it finishes this uh, this research and then we'll go ahead and select another research but at this point this is all the time I got for for this episode as a closing note I did look um, checking on the forums I do see that uh, in the next update or so they are planning on reducing multi uh, uh, releasing multiplayer options for this game which is going to be fantastic get you know you and your friends playing on one map building stuff it's going to be epic so um, I am PC Wizard. Thanks for watching. See you soon.